Hi everyone, welcome to this interview. And we have a very, very special guest with us today. Uh, a guest who has been targeting this seat for the last so many years. She has been dreaming of getting the seat and finally she has done it. So we have Dr. Prerna with us. Dr. Prerna is rank one INISS Medical Genetics and it's our privilege to welcome us, uh, welcome her to this interview. So Dr. Prerna, congratulations. Thank you so much, sir. As you so, rightly yeah. said, this has been a dream. Yes, it has been a dream and dreams do come true. So Dr. Prerna, before we go into your dream and how you plan for it, uh, about your background, please. Um, I belong to Delhi, but I have, uh, I did my UG from Jaipur and I did my post-graduation from KEM Mumbai and currently I'm doing my SRship. Uh, I passed out of my MD Pediatrics in July of 2022. So I'm still completing my one year of bond, but uh, now that I have gotten this, I will be completing it later. Great, great, great. This is the best thing that could happen. And from what I know, like I've known Prerna for a, a few years now. So I've yes. seen her, you know, striving very hard for that DM medical genetics seat. So why and when did you develop interest for this particular branch? Because not many people, you know, because the number of seats are less and uh, not much public information is there. So how did you develop interest in this branch? Um, so in 2018, I just randomly came across uh, a YouTube channel, which was about taking interviews of children with special needs and rare genetic syndromes. So initially when I was in MBBS and when I was preparing for my post-graduation entrance, at that time I used to find it very uh, tiring to know about chromosomes and the rare genetic disorders. But then when I saw them and when they manifested as children, that is when I started developing interest and that is when I realized the need for genetics in India because it is still a very new developing branch uh, and uh, parents take years for to reach a diagnosis. Children don't, uh, even if there are therapeutics available, they are very expensive and uh, to, to be able to cater to that need is when I started realizing that that is something that I want to have an impact on. So, so and hats off. in MD Pediatrics, uh, Seeing those children even more closely made me realize that this is truly my calling. Great, great. So uh, when did you start planning? What were the resources uh, like for, for the uh, general pediatrics part and also for genetics part? What were the books, resources, materials that you went through? Um, so because I was very sure that medical genetics is what I want to do, I enrolled in the prep ladder uh, super speciality course in March of 2022. And I was to give my uh, MD pediatrics exam in Ju June of 2022. So before I was, while I was preparing for my uh, MD exam is when I started preparing and I used to make handwritten notes watching your videos uh, for the general pediatrics part. And uh, then I started realizing what is more important for the since from the entrance point of view as well uh, so by the time uh, i was done with my md course uh, i also was sure of my general pediatrics notes uh, from uh, what i had made and after that i obviously did uh, take some uh, help from nelson while i was preparing for my md exam but by the time i started my senior residency by that time, I had already prepared my notes for general pediatrics and, and I started focusing more on the genetics aspect of it. So in November of 2022, without any preparation for genetics uh, at all, I wrote the INISS uh, just to get an idea about the pattern of questions that are asked. And uh, then I realized that almost 70 to 80 percent of the questions were from genetics and only 20 percent of them were from pediatrics, though in this exam it was almost a 50 50 percent. Uh, but since then I started focusing more on genetics. Uh, so the resources I used for genetics were uh, there is this textbook, which is a very small textbook of almost 300 400 pages called Emery's Elements of Medi Medical Genetics. Uh, there were direct questions from that book even in the november exam even in this exam so that is a short short book that everyone needs to read other than that from nelson in born errors of metabolism chromosomal anomalies uh topics of, on uh, primary immunodeficiencies uh these topics have to be read from nelson 
And other than that, one resource that I found really useful was uh, there is a website by the Indian Academy of Medical Genetics in which the faculty from AIMS, SGPJ, all these reputed institutes have put on lectures on specific topics. There are almost 40 to 50 videos and that was helpful even in the main exam as well as in the departmental assessment. So I made notes from those videos and I revised them uh, repeated times. And uh, by this exam, I was prepared for both the general pediatric primarily from uh, your videos and some bits from Nelson as well as the genetics spread from the resources I mentioned. And what about biostats? Uh, so that is the mistake that I made which I would definitely advise people to not make because uh, in the November exam I had prepared such that the general pediatrics was a smaller proportion but genetics was the major part but this time uh, the starting six questions out of the first 10 questions were from biostatistics and I was very bad at it I was almost in tears by the 10th question because I had not attempted six questions and flagged four questions out of 10 and this was my dream uh, uh, college. So after that, when I reached the genetics part and the general pediatrics part, things got better. But by the 10th question, I had almost lost hope. So one mistake that people should definitely not make is do prepare biostatistics because I also was asked a question on biostatistics in my departmental assessment. And uh, there were six questions, which becomes a major chunk out of those 80 questions. Yes. So it's a it's a message from uh, Dr. Prerna. Yes. So the, for those who will be sitting in the future exams, don't be disheartened if the first 10 or 15 questions you have no idea you can still make up and still get rank one yeah. right so it sometimes happens that sometimes those difficult questions or tricky questions yeah. are grouped together so yeah. don't be disheartened maintain your cool in the exam it's like playing a 2020 match you lose four wickets in first two overs if you have a good batsman you you believe in yourself you can always make up and still win the game so dr prerna uh you talked about department assessment so how did it go like we are not asking the details, obviously, but uh, what was the pattern and what things helped you in that department assessment of genetics? Um, so the first part of the departmental assessment was by the Department of Medical Genetics. Almost 20 to 25 questions were asked. Uh, there were a lot of image based spotters that were asked and followed by uh, follow up questions on those images. And uh, primarily the resources that I mentioned were helpful. The, in, uh, the videos on the uh, website of Indian Academy of Medical Genetics were a short shot uh, definite for that. And uh, other than that, Smith and Nelson for the image based uh, questions should also be helpful. Uh, and uh, the questions that were asked in the first part were actually based on uh, relatively common genetic disorders. So it wasn't uh, about really rare syndromes that you have to read. And the second part of it was by the general pediatrics. I was asked one question related to biostatistics. So that part I should have again done better. And the second question was based on general pediatrics, which I fared well. Okay, great, great. And uh, like, obviously you are now going back. Life has come full circle. Yes. You'll be going back to Delhi. And, yes, uh, I will. Joining apes and uh, beautiful people over there, especially the Department of Genetics. Uh, I, they don't know me, but I know them from multiple sources. It's a very wonderful branch, wonderful department that you're going to join. Uh, so any future message to the future aspirants? Um, primarily that you find a passion, uh, find something that you want to do for the rest of your life. Once you have decided that, the hard work doesn't seem so hard. That is that is what I believe in. Beautiful lines, Dr. Prerna. So uh, there must have been a lot of people who would be behind your success, who would have contributed in their own ways, your family, friends, colleagues, seniors, uh, any dedication, any shout outs you want to give? Uh, first of all, to my parents and my sister, uh, they don't belong to a medical background, but through the years, they have been the most supportive set of family possible. Uh, and even though I've not stayed with them, but uh, they have always been there. Uh, to my colleagues, my seniors, the faculty, juniors, everyone, I have learned so much from them. Uh, to you, of course, because the general pediatrics part, genuinely, I relied only on your notes that I had made uh, during my residency and after that. And I just revised them uh, at least two times. And uh, after that, uh, other than that, uh, 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 Dr. Josh, because he taught me recurrence risk calculations, and I'm really bad bad at mathematics. So it uh, he used to read it himself and then do it because he's a neurosurgeon. So he used to make me practice uh, mathematical equations like that. And uh, of course, definitely the children that I have come across through the years who have truly been the inspiration for this and uh, the reason why, why I want to do this. So without them, this is, this is all not useful 
with the kind of passion you have, I can already see 10 years down the line. Uh, you being an established name in the field of uh, genetics and maybe we'll be recommending your book. If I'm still like, teaching at that time, I'll be Thank you. probably recommending Rick Turnberg Dr. Prerna, uh, because you, you so have much. the passion and clarity of thought. So we wish you all the very best on behalf of uh, myself also on behalf of the entire Prep Letter SS team. We wish Thank you all you the so very much. best. And uh, do keep coming in June also. If whenever you get time, you'll be uh, you're going to be very busy. But whenever you get time, just guide your juniors who want to come into this wonderful field. We need more people who are passionate about this branch. So thank you so much, Dr. Prerna. Thank truly... you so much, sir. It is an honor. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for doing this because you are creating a bigger impact on the world than you realize. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.